Hello friends, Marley here and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing something completely different because today we are doing a tier list video. I missed the trend, this happened like last year this was popular, but today I wanted to find out what is the best Sim series. Obviously this is all in good fun. Everyone on this list are wonderful creators. I'm not trying to start drama. This is just my opinions. This is what has nostalgia for me and what I remember the most um, and you know my favorites. So it's not really the best Sim series. It's just my favorite Sim series, but that didn't make as good of a title. So today we are tier listing a bunch of Sim series. Um, so as you can see, these are the series we have here. And I'm going to be honest, basically I just found a bunch of series that I remembered and then I went onto the YouTube search and I searched Sim series and then did by uh, like most popular and then I scrolled past all the ones I already had and grabbed like the next five. So there are some of these I didn't, I haven't seen before. And that's why the categories are never seen and probably won't, no offense, might just not be my thing and I probably won't watch it, but you're still amazing. Um, one to watch. So this is a series that I have never seen. Apologize for my dog noises. Uh, one to watch is a series that I have never seen, but now that I have found it, I want to. Uh, wasn't for me just means that the series wasn't really for me. You're still amazing and I still have much love for probably for everyone on this list, even if I didn't really enjoy one series. Um, then we have good, we have great, we have one of my favorites, and then we have Life Simmers Generations, which we can all agree is the top god tier Sims 4 series or Sim series, and that's why it's on the list because it is its own category. So uh, let's begin. The first one on the list is Little Simsies 100 Baby Challenge. I'm putting that into good. It's a good series. Um, almost in wasn't for me. I love Little Simsy though, and I do occasionally watch these. So it's not a series that I will watch the entire thing. But like when I have extra time or I'm like cooking dinner, I will pop on 100 Baby Challenge. That's why it is good. Uh, this is English Simmers, 13 Souls. This series was great. I loved everything about it. I loved the main Sim. She was like a little chubby, adorable, little bean of cuteness. I hate that I just said that. That's so cringy. But I love her. That's a good word to describe it. That's going up top. This is 16 and Pregnant by... Fantasia. This is one of the ones that I found um, when I was just searching for the most popular series and I'm going to say never seen it, probably won't. Doesn't look like my type of thing but I'm sure it's amazing because it was one of the most searched for series. Um, the next one is another one that I haven't seen. It is Almost Famous and I've, hold on, let me consult my list here. This one is Almost Famous by Street Simmer. Uh, never seen it but I want to, it looks good. The next one we were going to do, do some more of the ones I know, is Youngins. This is the English Summer again. This goes all the way up top into Life Summer Generations. One of the best Sims 4 Let's Plays ever made. If you haven't seen it, highly recommend. Please check it out. Um, then we have Claire Siobhan. This is Bit Life Controls My Sims. This is a good series. I watch every, well, actually, I'm going to say this is a great series. I put it in great because I watch every episode without fail but I don't think that it's one of my favorites. Um, coming up next on, let's find one that is one of my favorites. Ah, yes, Claire Siobhan, the entire series. So this includes every series that is a part of her main family series. Um, the reason this one is one of my favorites is because I think that Claire does a really, really, really good job world building. She has created so many characters in this cast and really made them feel real and interconnected. The reason it isn't going into Life Summer Generations is I think that her audience is a lot younger and so what she's gearing towards tends to be a little younger and so it just doesn't quite meet my like Life Summer Generations, you know? It doesn't meet my like most iconic, most watched, like I will fight, die on the hill of this series, but it is one of my favorites. Next, we have Deligracy Parenthood. That was a great series. Uh, loved it. It's the only Deligracy series I have on here. But that's a really good one. Um, the next one is... This is one I haven't seen also. This is from Aviator Games. One of the most searched series. 
haven't seen it, probably won't watch it, but you're obviously awesome if so many people enjoy your content and search for it. Um, next we have English Summer. Oh, I don't. Okay, hold on. I'll, I'll wait for that one. Next we have Hatsy Sims 4 Stories. This includes all the Sims 4 Stories. They weren't for me, but I included this because Hatsy used to be one of my most watched YouTubers before she started the Machinima series. Machinimas just aren't really for me. However, I think she's amazing. Wanted to include her. So there it is. Sims 4 Stories plucked right there. Oof. We have Little Simsies, Gertrude um progression in sims 3 that one is going up in one of my favorites um gertrude is amazing this includes all of the series included gertrude so she went to university she had like a beach resort she did like generations gertrude mwah, mwah, chef's kiss great series not great in the same way that youngins is great not great in the same way that parenthood is great great in a different way great for total chaos and enjoyment factor Next one, we have, ooh, James Turner, Prison Series. Good series. Uh, I really liked it. That's why I included it. However, I wouldn't say that it's outstanding. He had a lot of kinks he needed to work out. Um, this is Plumbella's uh, entire history of series. So she does this series where she goes into the lore of different Sims 4 fam or not Sims 4. She goes into the lore of different Sims families and basically gives you like a whole rundown of where the family started, what game they were in, their whole timeline, if they have any stories. This is going into Life Summer Generation tier, top tier series, really enjoy it. Um, next we have Little Simsies Will Spin Challenge. This is a good series. I enjoyed it, didn't watch every episode, but overall, I think it's really good, like Little Simsy. Um, this is Claire Siobhan's Disney Princess Challenge. Again, we're going good. Um, this is English Summer's Black Widow Challenge, all the way in one of my favorites. She is just, I don't know. I go through phases where I only watch Molly from English Summer. Sometimes I won't watch her videos for months and months and then I binge everything she's uploaded. Um, but her earlier series just, mwah, chef's kiss. The first series I ever watched were hers and we will get to that. So. She is going in one of my favorites. Um, this is Hatch Hatsy's The Bachelor. It was good. Uh, belong there. Wasn't for me, uh, which is weird because I just said how much I love the English Simmers like storytelling. But that one series just didn't really catch me. So, still love you though. I think you're amazing. You're one of my favorites. Um, this is Plumbella's. This is Plumbella's Sims Two series. One of my favorites. Uh, James Turner, Super Sims. This is a good series. Um, we have Little Simsy. Man, I feel bad. I feel like I'm shitting on the Little Simsy here. Okay, so I'm moving Will Spin Challenge up one because I did, because I really enjoyed it. And I feel like if I'm ranking it against, if I'm ranking it like against the ones in the tier, then... I would say that it goes into the great tier versus the good tier because it's better than Hunter Baby, it's better than Prison. Yeah, it's better than all of those series. So it's moving up one. Um, Sims 3 Generations, English Summer, another god tier, top tier for me. One of my favorite series of all time. The first Sims series that I ever watched in my life. So thank you for getting me into this game. Uh, that's where my love of Sims started. After that, I was like, And I did. So um, that's going into God tier. We're getting into some more that I don't really know. Oh, this is Iron Seagull. He does info and news videos. Really like them. They're good videos. I watch them for informational purposes more than... They're really good videos. I watch them more for informational purposes and entertainment purposes. And that's why it's going um, a little bit lower. And then I haven't seen any of his other series, so sorry. But you're great. I love how you keep me updated. I would never know what's going on if I didn't watch your videos. Thank you for reading the patch notes to me because, hi, my name's Marley. I'm 21 years old and I never fucking learned how to read. Anyway, this is, oh, we have some Vixella series. So I hate to admit this. Um, I love Vixella. I think she's great. I've only really watched her build challenges, so I haven't seen any of her series. So all of the Vixella challenges are going straight into want to watch. Maybe we will. We have Zodiac Challenge, Not So Berry, and Four Immortal Sisters. Then we have James Turner Rags to Riches. This includes 
all of the rags to riches. I'm going to put it in great. Not one of my favorites, but it's a good series. Um, Runaway Teen, Little Simsy wasn't for me. And this is, oh, okay. So this is a really cool one I found when I was doing research. This is from a guy named Raynar Pictures. And he does a voiced over like Sims Machinima series, which I know I just said earlier that Machinima series weren't really my thing, but this one looks super interesting because he does voiceovers. So I'm putting this in one to watch, haven't seen it. Now within the tiers, how would I rank these? Um, I think I would move Sims 3 Generations above Youngins and then put Vixa, um, Pumbella's Sims 2 series slightly in front of that. And then in the next one, Claire Siobhan, no, okay, Plumbella gets moved up, then Claire, then Gertrude, then Black Widow, that seems fair. Next we have 13 Souls, Bit Life, Parenthood, Will Spin, Rags, Riches, I like that order. Then we have 100 Baby, Prison, okay, so this one's going to go straight to the top because out of all the good series, it's my favorite. Then after that would be Super Sim from James Turner, that would be my next favorite. Um, and then this seems good to me. Next we have these, and I think out of these, Runaway Teen was my favorite, Belong There was my favorite, and then Hatsy's Sims 4 Stories goes under that. Then in one to watch, obviously I can't rank these, um, actually, but I am most excited for this one, the voiceover series. So I'll put that in the front if I can. Hold on, please. Good. And then finally we have these two that I have never seen, I probably never will, again, not a bad thing. That's just my opinion. That is going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this quick little tier list video. If there's a series that I forgot, drop it below in the comments so that I can remake this list and do it again. Oh my goodness, I forgot Stepho Sims. <sighs> okay, so I forgot Stepho Sims. Just assume that all of her series are going great and higher. Um... Anyway, if there's a series I forgot, uh, please drop it in the comments so I can remake this list and do it again. If you guys want to do the tier list, I will post it over on my Twitter. So link in the description, you can find my Twitter name and do the tier list for yourself. I would love to see your results. So if you do do my tier list, please tweet it at me so that I can see where we disagree. Um, I would love to have discourse in the comments below. Maybe I'll remake this video with like my updated opinions after I hear what you guys have to say because I'm sure that tons of people will disagree with me. Um, but again, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If not, tell me I'm a piece of shit in the comments below. Constructive criticism is always good. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.